this video will be part two for applications of special triangles. And what this question essentially is, it's from your trig review, and this is question number five. So I probably consider this question um, the most difficult, but this is the one that actually applies your knowledge for special triangles, and are you able to do this? So we're going to go through this question together. Okay. Uh, what it says is use trigonomic ratios to determine the exact value. So again, exact means there's going to be special triangles. The exact value of the lengths of BD and BE. And then it says, what would this line segment here be? So a lot of things are going to be happening. What I would do, uh, the first thing I would do is take these two triangles and uh, draw these two triangles separately, right? So this triangle here, ABD, draw that off to the side and let's label that. So ABD. Um, this is a 90 degree angle. And this angle here would be 30 degrees plus 15 degrees, right? So this angle here, which is angle B, would be a 45 degree angle. Okay? And then this triangle down here, it didn't fit exactly, so I'll just sort of show you. So take this uh, triangle and draw that off to the side. And let's label that one. So this would be B, C, E. There's my 90 degree, and this is a 30 degree angle, okay? Now remember when I say the words um, exact, and I said, okay, that means special triangles, then the numbers that you'll always be given are 30, 45, and 60, right? Those are the ones that you were told that you need to know those um, special triangles. So if I look here, I've got a 45 degree, and I've got a 30 degree. Okay, so if I want the length of BD, I'm going to give that, um, I'm going to call that X. And what did they tell me? They said AB is equal to BC. So here's AB, that's BC, and that's 4 meters. Okay. So what I'm missing is that that's 4 meters and that this is 4 meters. Okay, so we always sort of start off thinking about grade 10, right? And grade 10 or 10C was SOHCAHTOA. So if you had to use SOHCAHTOA to get the length of side X, you would label your triangle and you would say, okay, 45 degrees, that's my opposite side. Across my 90 degrees, my hypotenuse. By default, this would be my adjacent. I need to use the trig ratio that has my unknown, which is I'm looking for this adjacent side, and I'm going to use the trig ratio that has A and H. So according to SOHCAHTOA, that would be the cosine trig ratio, right? So the cosine of your given angle, which is 45 degrees, is equal to A over H, which is X over 4. Okay. If this was math um, 10C, and I said, what is X? You would say, okay, we need to isolate X. It's being divided by four. Let's multiply both sides by four, right? So if this was 10C, you would say your answer is four times the cos of 45, that number there. And I would have said for 10C, 2.8 would be your final answer. In 20-1 and 30-1, you can no longer give decimal answers. You have to give exact values. So what you need to do is you need to take out this cos of 45, and you need to say, what exactly is the cos of 45 degrees? Like, what number is that, right? If I type in here, cos of 45 degrees, I get that number. But what was that according to my special triangles? Well, according to the special triangles, and I'll do it down here, cos of 45 degrees, what special triangle is this? This is the 45, 45, 90 degree special triangle, and you had to memorize 1, 1, root 2. That's where your 1s go, and here's your root 2. So the cosine 
45 degrees, sine was y over r, cosine is x over r. That's my x value, and that's my r value. So the cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. So let's check, am I correct? I typed in the cos of 45 degrees and I got that number there. Is that the same as 1 divided by root 2? And it is. So what I need to do is I need to go back up to my question and I need to take out the cosine of 45 degrees. What exactly is that number? That number is 1 over root 2. That is equal to x over 4. So I haven't changed anything, right? I just rewrote this as an exact value. Now I need to isolate x. How do you isolate x? Um, you could cross multiply. That's one way. Or you could say um, x is being divided by 4. Multiply both sides by 4, right? I'm going to cross multiply. So 4 times 1 is equal to x times root 2. 4 is equal to x root 2. Divide this side by root 2 and this side by root 2. And x is equal to 4 over root 2. Right? That would be the exact same, you guys. If I go back up to here and I say, okay, times this side by 4 and this side by 4, x is equal to 4 over root 2. So that's what x is. So let's go back to my calculator. And remember I said that like this is using 20 dash, or sorry, 10c. Let's type in 4 divided by root 2. There is that number, right? This number as an exact value is 4 over root 2. So x was bd. So I'm going to go back up here. The length of bd is 4 over root 2 meters. That's what BD is equal to, okay? So this distance here is 4 over root 2 meters. Oh, I just sort of realized normally we rationalize the denominator, so let's actually quickly do that. 4 over root 2, that would be 4 root 2 over 2. 4 divided by 2 simplifies to 2 root 2. So I'm actually going to fix that. Because we remember, we always give our um, answer with a rationalized denominator. So BD is equal to 2 root 2. And I could show you 2 root 2 is going to be the exact thing as 4 over root 2. So I'll just prove that. 2 root 2. These are equivalent. This is just rationalized. This guy's not rationalized. Okay, let's do this exact same idea. And let's figure out now in this triangle here, so B, C, E, let's figure out what this whole base would be. Like, what is B, E? What's that distance there, right? They want B, E. So I'm going to put y here, and then let's label according to 30 degrees. That's my opposite. That's my hypotenuse across from my 90 degree. This is my adjacent. The trig ratio that has a and h, it's the same trig ratio. So the cosine of 30 degrees, let's just clean this up. So cosine of 30 degrees is equal to A over H, which is Y over 4. This is a special triangle. So we need to figure out, well, what was that special triangle? So that would be my 30, 60, 90 degree special triangle. So let's draw that special triangle. So if that's 30 degrees, because remember, it's 30 degree angle here. So I want the given angle to be 30 degrees. 
this would be 60 degrees, this would be 90. What did you have to memorize for your 30, 60, 90? 1, 2, root 3. Let's label this. The 1 goes across from your smallest angle, which is 30 degrees. Um, the 2 and root 3, what's bigger? 2 is bigger because root 3 is 1.7. We always want our radius or our hypotenuse to be the longest side. Okay, so the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to x over r, which is equal to root 3 over 2, right? Because this is x and this guy's r. So let's confirm that on our calculators. Um, if I clear this, cos of 30 degrees is that. That's not an exact value. That I'm saying is equal to root 3 over 2. So let's check. Root 3 divided by 2. There we go. So that's my exact value. So go back up here. And again, when you see that word exact, you take this cos of 30 degrees and you say, what exactly is that? The cos of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. So that comes out and root 3 over 2 goes in. That is equal to y over 4. Okay, let's cross multiply to isolate y. So 4 times root 3 is 4 root 3. And 2 times y is 2y. Divide that by 2, divide that by 2. y is equal to 4 root 3 over 2. And I'm hoping that you'll see that this could be simplified. y is equal to 2 root 3. Okay? So this distance, BE, is 2 root 3. So BE is 2 root 3. So from here all the way to here, that guy is 2 root 3. Okay, the last part of this question is, well, what's this little tiny length here? What's that guy? So what I just want you to quickly see is let's just say you guys, that I said that this was 8, and let's say I said that this entire thing was 10, right? What would this little distance here be? It would be 10 minus 8, which is 2, right? This distance would be 2. So if I said up here, what is this distance? It's the longer side. So I'm going to write DE. So they want DE. What is DE? DE is the longer side, right, which was BE. So I've got to go up here. BE was 2 root 3 minus this distance here, which was 2 root 2. And then I would look and I would say, okay, can I simplify this? Are these like radicals? No, they're not. The radicands are different, a root 3 and a root 2, so I can't combine these at all. And that would be my final answer for this little tiny segment here. Would be 2 root 3 minus 2 root 2.